Comics Angry Video Game Beside Rants. This mission, this stupid mission right here. Fuck. It says that the recommended element to use for this mission is fire. Only problem, you're forced to use Lana. Two of her weapons are not fire types. I'm not sure if her third weapon is a fire type or not, but what I do know is that to unlock that weapon, you have to A rank this mission. So I ask you, why is it that it's recommended to use fire when the character you're using has no fire attacks? If I A rank this mission to unlock the weapon, and that weapon happens to be a fire type, then what's the point of going back to the mission? Next up, your mission objective is to defeat two different guardians, then two different boss to beat the mission. Okay, sounds simple. Except every one of those motherfuckers will bum rush to your allied base, making it way too hard to focus on your mission objective. So you have to go to the allied base and do not, I repeat, do not do anything else. Don't capture keeps, don't fight the mini boss enemies, don't even fight whatsoever. Your first objective to winning this mission is to rush your ass over to the allied base as soon as possible. I captured at least one keep, and then when I went to the allied base, all of a sudden, red and yellow enemies, mini bosses, raid captains, and faction captains are all on the allied base with half of the life points by the time I got there. Don't get distracted, otherwise all the enemies will be coming after your ass. And once they do, it's your duty to defeat them all, and it takes forever. Not only because there are so many enemies on screen, but because there are so many enemies on screen, the frame rate drops immensely! Slowdown issues, lag, the majority of the time spent in this box alone is spent waiting for the damn lag to disappear. And once you get rid of those guys, guess what? More guys come after you. These motherfuckers just don't give up. They will assault and pillage you to the core. It's a huge waiting game and it's fucking annoying. What's worse, what if you want to complete this mission, get the gold Cthulhu's pieces of hearts, you're fucked. And Lana is not a very maneuverable person. She's not the slowest character in the game, but compared to the likes of Sheik, Link, and even Ganondorf, she's pretty damn slow. You can use her Deku stick as a weapon for the speed boost, but what's the recommended level? It's fire. What's opposite of fire? Water. So if you want to make the mission even more harder for yourself, then go for this option. The amount of time I had to wait for this damn gold Skatula, when I finally had the perfect time to get it, I got it, and then the allied base got destroyed. I was tired of getting the damn thing and I really wanted to rush getting through it by skipping the text. Only to have me accidentally use the damn special bar because the damn skip button text is the same goddamn button as my special attack! Also, this keep. You need to get this keep in order to get the fairy to nullify the barrier to go after the red boss. And once you beat him, guess what? You still need to deal with the yellow boss. If you manage to stall for long enough, eventually the red boss comes after your base. And see these guys? They're Gibdos. Fuck these guys. I had an easier time hand standing naked on top of the Eiffel Tower. These guys will freeze you whenever you are near their radius. Avoiding one is fine, but when you have to deal with two at the same time while one freezes you, and then the other one freezes you, and then the other one freezes you again, it wastes time. It decreases the allies' base power, and more raid captains will be raiding onto your allied base. And some of these raid captains, guess what? They're Gibdos! Fighting two of them at the same time is raiding the pain in the ass. How about fighting three, or four, or five, or these guys at the same time? Also, a word of note, do not, and I mean, do not defeat the yellow captain until you beat the red boss. Otherwise, Sia, your partner for the mission by the way, will act like a boss and go after the yellow boss only to get her ass kicked. And guess what? You still need to deal with the yellow and red factions fighting in your allied base, while at the same time protect Sia from her stupidity. Otherwise, the allied base falls, or if Sia dies, it's game fucking over. And guess what? The allied base is here, Sia is over here stupidly fighting the fucking yellow boss. I don't know how, but I got lucky. I captured all the base, all the outposts, killed the bosses, and the best I got was a B rank. And what the fuck is this? Time is a C rank? This game expects me to finish this shit in less than 30 minutes? What the actual fuck? You expect me to fend off raiders, collect my rewards, capture the fairy, kill two captains, kill two bosses, while at the same time protect the allied base and Sia while they're both in two different positions, all in under 30 minutes? How the fuck can I do that? <sighs> More of the story is... Level up Lana before tackling this mission. I was around level 30 when this happened, so I'm sure leveling up would make it a lot easier to deal with this mission.